Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a you versus them love reading for my dearest Cancers. Cancer, I'm going to read your energy on the left, your person's energy on the right, and then we're going to see what's happening between you right down the middle. Now at any point in time, feel free to swap the energy that I may be picking up on. And I also urge you to play with time. This could be a past connection, a current situation, or an energy moving towards you in the next couple of weeks. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for my dearest Cancers for their highest and greatest good. All right, so your energy, the Six of Cups, you're viewing your person as the emperor and the connection as the high priestess. Ooh, so a very spiritual connection. Although this really could be someone that you're crushing on. All right. And, and you feel like this is absolutely your person. Maybe you just haven't told them how you feel. Your person showing up as the six of wands. Ooh, they're viewing you as the judgment card in reverse. So this person may have misjudged you, Cancer. And the connection as the King of Pentacles in reverse, okay? Uh, we've got the Four of Swords. We've got the Magician in reverse. And we've got the Four of Cups. Okay, so pay attention to the number sequence 4-4. Four, 4-4-4 four. Four, four, four coming through. Powerful number sequence here. But Cancer, I'm also seeing here that you may not have... I think this is someone that you're crushing on. Um, and I don't think you've told them how you're feeling, maybe out of fear of rejection here with the Four of Cups, or maybe to see if they're going to make some moves towards you. With the Six of Wands here, I do feel your person gets a lot of attention. Maybe they have a lot to offer. Maybe they're very good looking, maybe a combination of the two. Um, you know, it feels like this person's, a you know, like a boss of some sort. Maybe they're in a managerial role or, um, or yeah, they've just done very well for themselves. Yeah, but I feel like there's an energy here of holding back. Um, and Cancer, I, I feel like you are holding back here um, with this connection. So let's go ahead and see what's up because you are showing up as the Six of Cups. So really sweet feelings. Um, you know, some of you, maybe, you've, you know, you've just, you've gone on a few dates with this person. For others of you, I just feel like this is someone you're crushing on, maybe at work, maybe in your community, um, someone you're really interested in here. And um, we've got the hanged man. All right, Pisces energy. So I kind of feel like you're hanging out in this person's energy, Cancer. Um, probably admiring them. Like I said, and I've said a million times already in this reading, it feels like you're just really crushing on this person. But it feels like you're not taking action. The hanged man is holding back, looking at all the details. So again, you might be just trying to really figure this person out. You see them as this beautiful emperor energy. Again, this is a very sexy, passionate, positive energy. Um, but you're also seeing this person isn't giving a whole lot to you emotionally. And that could be why you're holding back. So, you know, maybe you've tried flirting with this person and, and it feels like they probably are flirtatious, but you, you can't really gauge how they're feeling or if there's going to be success here with this person. Um, hmm. Interesting. All right. And um, you're viewing the connection as the high priestess. So it's definitely, there's definitely some secrecy here, but the knight of wands, you're very physically attracted to this person. You would be, you know, I feel like my cancers, you'd be absolutely willing to move forward here with this person or move towards them. But I do feel that there's hesitation because you're not so sure about how they're feeling about you. And with the six of wands, it's, this person does seem to get a lot of attention or they're quite successful. Okay, the star card, they could be an Aquarius. Um, this person, you know, with this Aquarius energy, I can see that they're really friendly. So they might be like very open and friendly and, and maybe a lot of people approach them or they talk to a lot of people. So you're trying to figure out if this person's a player or not. Um, this person's like independent. They're very creative is what I'm getting. Um, I, I think you feel this person is everything you could want here. But with the judgment card energy in reverse, it's like this person feels like uh, they're viewing you as possibly like they've misjudged you. Maybe they're having a hard time reading you, Cancer. And we see the hermit card energy in reverse. Okay, so I, I do feel like this person also is trying to figure you out. Um, they may want to see you again, get to know you again. I feel like, Cancer, your feelings run really deep for this person or you're crushing on this person really hard. I feel like your person doesn't know how to read you. 
I also feel like this person gets a lot of attention and they're viewing the connection as the king of pentacles in reverse. So it's very different than what they're used to. You might be very different from their usual type and expectations here. And we see the knight of pentacles, but this person is willing to see where this goes and to work on things, but they definitely move slowly. And, and I feel like they're in they're, 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 they're purposefully moving quite slowly and not giving a whole lot to this connection until they know if you two are right for each other, because there is, I'm, I'm not going to lie. And I know this isn't what you may want to hear, but there's, there's the hesitation here with this person. And, you know, between the two of you, we've got the four of swords. So there's not a whole lot of movement. Again, you might be waiting for the other one, each of you waiting for the other one to, um, to make a move again, the empress energy in reverse. Cancer, you know, mm, there could be some sort of third party here. It may be your person. You know, I, I just want you to be aware of that because it feels like this is someone that you haven't dealt with in depth. Now, maybe some of you have a longer history with this person than others, but I do feel like there's some sort of third party here that's holding you back. And I feel like you may not know that. And this person, again, they get a lot of attention. They're friendly. I feel like they're probably weighing up options. They might not be over somebody that they're not together with. I want you to be careful, okay? I want you to be very careful because a lot of my cancers, like I said, you're crushing on this person, um, but there's something that's, there's like a hesitation here and they might still be stuck on someone or dealing with that third party. So just be aware. And I, I did do a pre-shuffle cancer and, and it came through very loud and clear. Um, but with the magician energy in reverse, there's something here um, that, that's off. And we see the queen of swords. Yeah, your person, your person, I don't think, I, I think you need more information about this connection. I think you're right to be in this hanged man energy, to hang out, watch and wait, get as much information as you can. I know you want this, but the four of cups here tells me, you know, they may not be emotionally available. I think they're waiting to get back together with an ex or they're waiting to see where something goes with someone. Yeah, I think there's going to be a tower moment. There's going to be, um, there's going to be a shock and surprise. Um, definitely. And it feels like coming from this person and why they've been holding back or hesitating cancer. I, I'm, this is a bit of a warning and I know these aren't again, the messages that you may want to hear, but don't, um, you know, don't jump into things and take your time before you, you know, before you get any more emotionally invested in this connection. Cause I can see you're crushing on them, but I feel like there's going to be a tower moment and it doesn't necessarily feel like a really good one. I think you're going to realize or hear they've gotten back together. It feels like with an ex or they're trying to, um, I know this person is a lot of what you want, but I'm seeing that they're not emotionally available. Um, they're not ready. They're not where they're not where you need them to be. All right. So, um, all right, let's see. What else do we need to hear? <clears throat> what else do we need to know about this person, please, for my cancers? What else do we need to know? Yeah. Your person, empath and narcissist paradigm, being charmed or used, enable and boundaries. Some of my cancers, I, 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 I really dislike these messages, but again, I can't change what's coming through. Some of you, if you have been like intimate with this person or they've been really like flirtatious or showing you a lot of attention, I, like I said, I hate these messages, but they might be trying to use you to get back at someone or to make somebody else jealous. I know these are not these these are not the messages, but they're the messages that you need to hear. Okay, so you do have some sort of soul contract with this person. Maybe it's a past life energy, but Cancer, mm -mm, mm -mm. I know this person like on paper looks like they're really great for you, and I think you have very strong feelings for them. But I'm getting so many red flags coming through. Yeah, there it is. Third party energy. Be careful. Be careful. And yeah, some of you, you're just talking to this person, but spend your time getting to know this person because there's something definitely off. And to be honest, for a lot of my cancers, and I know you're going to dislike this, but for a lot of my cancers, um, this is not the person for you. Yeah, they're hiding something. They might even be pretending like they're they're single or they're, and, and I do feel like they actually are single, but I feel like they're working on, you know, trying to get somebody else back. That's, that's the message that's coming through. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch gears because I'm not going to spend more time on this person's energy because the messages are, are very clear. And, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and see if there's anybody else coming your way. 
All right, is there anybody else that my Cancer should be focused on at this point in time? Is there anybody else my Cancer should be focused on at this point in time? All right, so you may have somebody coming towards you who's like also kind of in a leadership role or they're confident, they've done quite well for themselves. Um, they could be a Leo or have Leo in their chart. They're positive, they're passionate, they're playful. They like attention, okay? So opposite sign from this person. This person has that strong Aquarius energy, but this is somebody who's in this Leo energy. And this is somebody who's solid, they're strong, they're dependable. I feel they're also like quite physically fit is what I'm getting or kind of like they're, they're they. I'm seeing like an imposing frame, but it's probably something you're gonna really like. Again, that's a physical attribute that's not going to be for all of you. And we also get Scorpio energy coming through with this person. So somebody who's protective and loyal. Um, this Scorpio person, I'm, I'm getting an, an interesting message. They could also be somebody who's crushing on you right now, Cancer. And it feels like your attention might be on this other person. We also see Gemini energy coming through. So somebody who's very chatty and very fun. Just hold back, watch and wait. Know that you've got this other energy, this other this other energy that Spirit's telling you to focus on. Um, yeah, so this new person may like to use their middle name. There could be a three to five year age difference between you. They may have lost a loved one within the last year. Okay, this could also be a pet, but it could be, you know, a parent, a grandparent, or a close friend. Um, all right, and this person might be sarcastic, but with that Gemini energy, it's probably they've got a dry sense of humor is what I'm getting here, Cancer. And they may have lighter skin, okay? So that could be lighter than everybody else in their family or than their typical ethnic background. It could be lighter than you, lighter than your ex. All right, so just trust your intuition there. And your paths will cross after you make a final decision. I feel like once you decide you're not gonna really pursue this connection here, Cancer, that's when this person comes in quite quickly. Pay attention to the color blue as well. They could wear blue. They uh, This person I feel like wears a lot of denim is what I'm getting. Yeah, and communicating their feelings comes easy for them. So I feel like you're going to laugh. You're going to talk. They're going to be chatty. They're going to be fun. All right, let's see. What else do my Cancers need to know here, please? Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Cancers. Okay, so this person may come from a big family. I do kind of get that, like they have siblings. And for some of you, I did get they could have actually lost a sibling, but I don't feel like it's in the last year. Okay, it might have been like growing up or something. Hmm. All right, and I, it's it's kind of a morbid message, but I'm getting like an accident, some sort of accident. All right, this person is genuine and sincere, and um, they're fun, energetic, and beautiful. This is also how they're going to be seeing you. And this person has a lot to offer, okay? For some of you, they may have children already. That may not be for all of you, though, okay? And let's see. What else do my cancers? Okay, so some of you, this person... Um, this is going to be a change of scenery that spices up your life. And I feel like that change of scenery is you shifting focus from this energy that we came to the reading for. Um, and with this holiday energy, some of you, um, you may meet this person on holiday um, or, you know, some sort of travel involved. Um, this could be a friend. Like if you go on a friend's trip, you could, you know, meet them that way. Or maybe they're already in your friend group. All right. And... Yeah, divine timing. Some of you, it's a friend that wants to be more or, you know, these feelings are going to be developing between the two of you. But there is some sort of serendipitous event that's going to bring you two together. And Spirit's telling you don't judge a book by its cover. Yeah, so for a lot of you, you may have this Leo, Scorpio, Gemini energy around you, but it's somebody that you haven't been considering, maybe because you were, you know, crushing on somebody else or, you know, their feelings for you have changed and vice versa. And Spirit's saying there's potential here for this to be a lasting love, whomever this might be. So Cancer, um, you know, like I said, I know there were some tough love messages in here, but um, we've got to keep it real with what comes through. You definitely have this other connection that's worth exploring. Um, and yeah. And I'm excited for you. I'm, I'm excited for that. So please let me know how this resonates in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Um, and check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. All right, my dear Cancers, love and light. Take care.